Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the last couple of videos, I shared my approach for learning new content and creating a master document, which I can refer to back forevermore. In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about how I then maintain that understanding by using a space repetition based system. Space repetition, for those who've not heard of this concept before, is a principle essentially where you repeat information that you've learnt over a gradually increasing period of time with the idea that it increases the amount that you retain that information over a longer period of time. And the science behind it is that there was a gentleman called Ebbinghaus. He gave people some nonsense syllables to remember and he found their ability to remember that decayed exponentially, but that if they then spent some time recalling that information a short period afterwards, they would then retain a higher percentage of that information and also that that would then last for longer. There's a nice graph that he did which demonstrates that point which I'm gonna put on the screen here. I'm not gonna spend any more time in this video explaining the principles behind that. If you are interested, my friend Ali Abdal has done a fantastic video explaining all the evidence behind this technique and why it's so effective. But what I'm gonna focus on this video is how I implement that as part of my study routine. And within that space repetition based system, the most effective way to review that information is to begin by actively recalling what you know on the subject. And in my previous video, I talk about how I prompt myself to do this by leaving questions at the top of my master document. But now I'm gonna talk about the way that I combine space repetition and active recall to maintain the understanding that I've developed. Now I do this on two levels. The first level is on the level of facts and concepts and then the second level is on the level of subjects and topics. So on the fact level there's a few things that I do that after I've reviewed a subject I've spent the amount of time I'm gonna spend on it. I will then look through all my notes and I will turn them into question form and these are the questions that I create at the top of my document as you can see here um, which I usually call like self-test questions or recall questions so then when I return to the document I'll look at those questions and I'll recall based on those questions before then looking maybe at the rest of the notes for reference. And often what I'll do is I'll recall the information using these questions as prompts, recall as much information as I can. And then what I'll do is I'll skim through the rest of my reference material just to see if there's anything else that I've missed when I've tried to recall the subject. And another thing that I like to do at the same time as this is I will also then copy this information over into a piece of software called Anki. So for those of you not familiar, Anki is essentially a piece of software that uses spaced repetition based principles to present you with flashcards that you uh, program into it. So uh, I'll just demonstrate myself doing that now. So what I can do when I learn new content is I will load up Anki and I will click add to add a new card. And I'll then go through my summary notes and I might look for um, some, some kind of natural questions. So if I go to this notebook on logistic regression, here's a question that I kind of asked myself. I can put this in Anki and then, this is quite a long answer here, but I would be tempted to maybe copy the whole thing or maybe break it down. What's nice about Anki is you can just then copy it straight into the document. Um, might take a little bit of time because there I've tried to copy quite a bit. But essentially I then have this as a note. I can then save that uh, pressing command enter. And now when I come to review it, it will present me with the latest questions that I'm working on. And I can look at the question and then I can work on actively recalling that information first. And what's nice about Anki is uh, once you then recall that information, you can say how confident you are with the answer. So here, it's asking me about a greedy algorithm. I'm pretty confident on that question. So then I can say that it was good. And here it's gonna represent me that question in one and a half months. And that's because that's information that I'm quite confident on. So therefore there's no need for me to be repeating it in the near term future. And it's one that's come up quite a few times. So just to reiterate that, basically at the end of my session, I'll go through all the material that I've studied and learnt and summarized with my own notes and I will convert those into questions, which I'll put as recall questions at the top of my document, and I'll also then put those into Anki so that that's then exposing me to those questions using spaced repetition as well. Two other habits that I also find useful in spaced repetition, although I don't 100% stick to these all the time, is number one, reviewing the content that you learn at the end of your study session. Usually this will just be like a minute or so at the end of one hour study session where I just try and recall as much as I can from that study session. And then the other time is also trying to do a review before I go to bed, just in the evening, trying to think through all the topics that I've learned that day and just trying to recall as much information as I can. But on the days that I do, I find it particularly helpful because there's a bit of science about how one of the functions of sleep is to consolidate memory. And I've definitely noticed this, that if I review things before I go to sleep, I wake up and for some reason, I just happen to remember that better. And if you're interested, there's a book by someone called Matthew Walker called Why We Sleep, uh, where he outlines this in more detail. So yeah, I find that useful to review things on a kind of fact concept lower level. Uh, just, it makes me feel a bit more comfortable after I've covered the material, just to make sure that that's bouncing around in my Anki system so that I will be re-exposing myself to that in the future. But then what I also like to do is have a high level space repetition based system uh, on topics and on subjects, which ensures that I'm reviewing the whole subject together, also following a spaced repetition based system. And the way that I'll do this is that I have a document, again on OneNote, um, where I'll outline the topics that I'm learning in this sort of format here, which I'll, which I'll show you. So when I cover a new topic, I will put it into what's called a daily review column. Uh, so here, 
Um, this, actually, this example is actually from a few years ago, but I just want to demonstrate the principle uh, that let's say I was in a clinic and we talked about blistering skin disease, then I'll pop that in my daily reviews. And then at some point within the next day, I should review that content. And when I review that, I will move that from the daily review and I'll put it into the weekly review. And then I'll have a column which outlines the things that I want to cover in the upcoming week. So gradually this will build up as each day I learn new content and then I put it into the daily review system. Then once I reviewed it, it goes into the weekly review column. So over time that will then build up. And at some point, I'll probably have a period of time where I'll spend an hour or two just going through all of the weekly review topics for that week. And then what I will do is take that weekly review and move it into the monthly review. So here we've got uh, this content from a particular week back in January. And once I've then covered that content, I will be moving that over into a monthly review for the next month, which let's say it's February. And then at some point or a few sessions over the course of February, I will spend time going through each of those topics as well. And I really like this system because it's very visual and it enables me to see exactly all the topics that I've learned at different periods of times um, and where I am in terms of that spaced repetition based process. And what's also nice is that it has a degree of flexibility. So on any particular day, I can look at that and I can see uh, which reviews I need to do this week. And I can think of maybe doing those on a particular day and picking and choosing those topics to some extent and uh, ensuring that they all kind of flow through that system. And when I'm reviewing this, I always prioritize doing my daily reviews um, because those are the ones at the highest risk of kind of leaking out of your memory. Because as the forgetting curve from Ebbinghaus showed, there's that exponential decay initially. So you really want to catch that memory early on before you lose a lot of the content. So then you can review it and build it back up. So when I come to look at this review system, I will always start with the daily reviews, then weekly, then monthly. Um, but prioritize the daily reviews. But yeah, that's the system that I use in order to organize my space repetition. Uh, I think there's different ways that you can do it, but I've just demonstrated that to show the principle of, of incorporating the space repetition based system. So I think different things work well for different people. So definitely try out different approaches and see what works well for you. Yeah, so that's basically how I learn content initially and then create a system in order to retain that understanding. Now what I'm going to talk about is some high level principles that make the system work very effectively. So in the next few videos, I'm going to talk about how I prioritize the study topics that I'm going to study, my approach to continually improving my study technique over time, and also how I prevent myself from getting distracted while I study. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.